seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello, and welcome to Depraved Indifference to Intelligent Life. Today, my this is my weekly little vlog thingy that I do. Um, I'm trying to get it out once every Friday. Kind of do a Friday uh, vlog thing. Hashtag. That, that, that thing, right? I hope. But regardless. Um, <laughs> regardless, I would like to do something interesting uh today uh there is a uh, wonderful wonderful lady i will put her um her youtube channel in the comments below um that is here in calgary i've talked with a bit uh now and then uh, and she does book reviews uh, lots of classical literature and stuff but she also does a lot of poetry readings on her channel and poetry isn't something I read a lot of um, pretty much nothing in terms of poetry um, not since high school but I have written a couple things a couple poems and I thought it'd be kind of fun to read those poems that I have written um, one of which was done back in I believe grade 8 I was in grade 8 at the time like 12 years old or something um, <clears throat> I think it was 12, maybe 13. I can't remember. That was many years ago. <laughs> but I was at a lyceum uh, for like a week. I got like a week off school to go to this thing every day. Um, spent a night in a cabin, uh, explored the woods, and did weird things with photography, and just, just all kinds of cool stuff. We just learned stuff. And one of the things we did in that lyceum was... Um, we got given a choice of objects that we could pick from, and we had to write a poem about it. And the thing that I picked was the skull and beak of a bird. And I wrote a poem about that. And I also wrote another poem um, years ago, not that many, but a while ago, um, based off of the uh, Seven Deadly Sins. And both of them are up on my DeviantArt account. Uh, the Seven Sins one seems to have uh, a few people that like it. So I thought it'd be fun to read those poems to you uh, here today. They're not super long. So bear with me as I uh, use my little tablet here. And we're going to read a poem. The first one being The Seven Sins. Just entitled Seven Sins. <clears throat> Pride. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's belief in yourself to an extreme. I'd call that confidence. Envy. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's wanting what you see others owning. I'd call that endeavoring. Gluttony. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's devouring much more food than you need. I call that satisfaction. Lust. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's desiring the pleasures of the flesh. I call that fantasizing. Wrath. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's taking an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I'd call that justice. Greed. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's amassing large quantities of money and wealth. I'd call that ambition. Sloth. Is it a sin? Some say so. It's being lazy and not 
doing any work. I'd call that relaxation. And that's it for that particular poem. A small little thing that I did. I, I kind of liked the idea of it. I don't know where I got the concept to start writing it or why I wrote it in that way. I just did, and it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. I'll include the links to the DeviantArt uh, pages in the comments below if you wish to see the full text. Because some people, sometimes I know I don't, uh, I don't speak well. <laughs> they can't, people can't understand me. Sometimes I talk too fast. So where's the other one? Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. This one is called The Bird. This is the one I wrote back when I was in high school. Um, <clears throat> Up in the sky, a bird flies triumphantly over the beach, with a worm in its mouth and happiness in its flight. Suddenly, the bird stops flying and drops toward the ground. Not because it is home, or not because it's at home, but because it is dead. No one knows why or how it died. No one really cares that it did die. Everyone says it's nothing but a dead bird. It's not hurting anyone. Let it rot. Four months go by very quickly. And like they said, it did rot. All that is left is a white bird skull with a black beak half covered in mud. It lay there dead and lifeless with dirt in some parts of it and holes in the bone straight through the eyes and the mouth. It is very delicate and fragile and very loosely held together. The stench coming from the dead animal is hardly noticeable. Then one day a kind little boy sees the remains. He feels pity on the poor animal. So he ran home and got a pail and a small shovel. He dug a hole big enough to hold the pail, placed some dirt into the pail, set the remains in the bucket carefully, placed the bucket in the ground. He filled and buried the bucket. He said a prayer for the bird and left it alone. small little poem that's it that is all my my little poem that i've done uh for that uh just a, a tiny little thing that i thought it might be interesting to read um as i said the the seven sins one is a little bit more more polished i think than the bird but the bird was one that i wrote back when i was young and didn't really know a lot about poetry uh i still don't <laughs> Poetry is not my forte, <laughs> but I thought it'd be just fun to to read those little things. Um, to you, I've got some other writings up on my DeviantArt page. If anyone wishes to look at them, you certainly feel free to. Um, but other than that, uh, that's it for this wonderful little uh, vlog thing I thought I'd do for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you like what I'm doing, please give that like button a tap. Give that subscribe button a tap and ring the notification bell. So you can be kept apprised of when I do new videos. Um, I've been doing pretty good getting five videos out every week. Uh, that's the goal. But I'll only ever promise one. Uh, maybe two. If I'm feeling generous. But only ever promise you one because life can get in the way. Um, I don't anticipate it doing so. But I know enough to know it will at some point. So thank you all. Uh, throw a comment in the comment section. What do you think of my poems that I've done? Um, do you think I should try and write more poetry in the future? It's not really my my jam, but um, I must confess that I have written a couple poems over the years here and there, and when I did, I've actually you know liked them. I've liked what I've written, but it's not really my style of thing. Um, I'm not too polished on it or know the know the ins and outs. So. Uh, Regardless, fill those comments in the comment section. I'd love to get a discussion going with people. And until next time, my friends, uh, you all take care, and I will see you around.